you've lost weight. It can feel like the ultimate compliment if you are on a fitness kick, OK? And someone says to you, look great, have you lost weight? But could those three words actually do more harm than good and be what some are calling fat phobic? Well, yes, according to a journalist who says that we should use alternatives like you're glowing <laughs> and you seem so happy, Colleen. So, but actually, I thought this was very interesting, Kay, because I have said to you, because yes. you know, you've been doing your vegan diet mm. and things, and I have said to you, and you have lost weight, mm. and I have said to you, God, you look great, Colleen. Mm. But then this got me thinking this morning. I thought, but is, that, is it saying, like, saying to somebody, you look great because you've lost weight, almost like saying you didn't look great before yeah. and now you've lost weight, mm. you look great. Would you ever think that if somebody said to you? Absolutely not. No. And you know what? It, I, I didn't. Really, sure. uh, in my opinion, you know, when I look back now, I think I look better now since I've lost weight. Um, I was still happy and all that when I had weight on, but I feel better now. I'm healthier now. Yeah. So, and it was so never not just a thing. better in it, how you look, but better generally. Generally, feel better, and also, I think it's lovely to be paid a compliment. My God, are we going to go through life now where we're too scared to even yeah. pay a compliment because someone's going to be insulted? Because we are going to have to soon live a very silent. Life, life yeah. where you literally can't go, God, your hair is lovely. I didn't mean it wasn't lovely yes. before you got the hair cut. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys, it's but that's a compliment. the thing, you know. Colleen's saying it's a compliment, yeah. But others saying, but is it a compliment? Yeah. You know, if people are talking just about how you look, Kelly, yeah. particularly your weight. I think weight's a tricky subject, um, especially if you if you are or have or previously had a, an eating disorder. Um, the weight issue can be, you know, quite an alarm bell in your mind, and also it sometimes it can glamorise it. If you've got anorexia or a, or a severe eating disorder and someone compliments you and says you've lost weight, it, it's almost like psychologically, mm. oh, great, that means that I'm doing something right when actually you're in a dangerous situation and you're not healthy, you're the opposite of all of the things that, you know, that you described in terms of how you feel. But if you've got an eating disorder, it can be, it can be a very dangerous thing. But you have people talking. can't know, can they? No. I mean, you were telling me earlier today that you had had problems with mm. eating and that it had been a big part of your life, but I didn't really know that and I could have just said... Yeah. ..and if I caused offence, it would be unintentional. Mm. But I was watching Motherland the other day on, on the telly and there was this classic scene because when someone says you've lost weight, sometimes it's passive aggressive. They're saying it in an aggressive way mm. to put one over on you, so it's yeah. not always the compliment, the compliment it first seems. Yeah. Seem. So this character in Motherland, uh, Amanda, the really, you know, dominating princessy one, she said to another a woman, well, you look really good, you've lost weight. And the woman left it a few beats and she went, I've got cancer. And I thought, yeah. you know... So that is another danger. That's yeah. the other it? danger, like, you know, isn't like it? Like Janet was saying, someone... So when, how old were you when you, you started to have issues about your weight or felt that you needed to...? Oh, it was very, very early, but, you know, I was in leotard and tights from two you know, at dance school. So, uh, you know, your weight was always something that people commented on. You know, dance teachers would, dance teachers would say, you're not going to be able to continue as a ballerina if you don't lose weight, whereas actually that was just my shape, you know, culturally, mm. you've got a big bum and whatever, and that was just something that was now celebrated, but at the time it was just seen as a negative thing. And I was like a size 14 when I was in the band, and that was just seen as too big. 14? You know, yeah. Mm. And a size 14 is a normal, healthy, everyday woman, but... It's less than the it, British average, which mm. is 16. Yeah. So were you mm. told, then, you need to lose weight, or did you just feel like the other girls were... No, no, I was you? told to lose weight, because, you know, if you're coming up to, to making a video or doing a music video or shooting something, you know, yeah, I've definitely told, you know, you need to lose weight, and it was encouraged, you know, to lose weight so that you looked a certain way. You must or they have felt pressure the like film making, afterwards. Mm. <laughs> you must have felt pressure making kind of the videos to go with the songs and things when you all have to dress up and choose the clothes. Yeah, absolutely, you know, you'd get a stylist from. that would come in with a rail and, you know, there'd be a, a variety of clothes for each of the girls and then they'd kind of look at you and go, oh, I don't actually think I've got anything for you. Or we'll find something, you know, that mm. those kinds of lines, which, did, you know, as a young, impressionable girl, teenager, you're thinking, well, what's wrong with me because up to that point you know you're like surely I'm you know I'm fine but you're not because you know at that time it was seen that you needed to be like a size six or a size eight otherwise you were 
not so But then equally, surely eating. you've got to be encouraging to people who say they've been told by doctors yeah. that they need to lose weight for health reasons. Mm. They've, they've got to lose mm. weight. And so they're really trying hard mm. and they're going to the gym and they're starting to eat healthy. Surely you should be allowed to compliment yeah. them and go, you it's... look, you're doing brilliantly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is going down a much darker route. Obviously, yeah. there's people out there that you have to be aware of that may have eating disorders, that may have an illness. But I don't want that to stop for you saying no. to me, you look great. Like, do you not, do you not feel think it's about, about it. how well you know the person? So yes, if absolutely. you've got a friend, like, I know that you're on the healthy yeah, yeah, eating yeah. and things and that you're happy that it means mm. you're losing weight and you feel healthy, but I know that. So for me to say to you, you look great. Mm. Oh my gosh, you've lost some more weight, you look great. It's maybe if it's someone you don't know, like Janet said in that character in Motherland, that you could just say, oh my goodness, you look great, you've lost weight and find out they're terribly ill. But isn't yeah. another worrying expression now, you look glowing. Say you look glowing to a woman of a certain age, you go, <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. So, something as simple as glowing. Does I carry oh, this around with me now? Yeah. Yeah. Glowing. <laughs> glowing. But it's not because I'm losing weight, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> that goes everywhere with me any now. Any kind of compliment these days is just fraught. I know. It's Everything a, it's nowadays so is. so dangerous. We better just stay silent. I'm not saying anything to any of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided. <laughs> yeah, I've decided I'm not going to tell you I like that suit. Nothing. I'm no, not going to tell you. Makeup's you nice. I'm just. I'm not even going to speak to you. <laughs> you sit there quietly. It's going to. Yeah. You sit there <laughs> quietly. Do, that would. That would. Um, be and I'll let lot. everyone know what's coming up.